today we will be looking at the best and the worst legendaries. So, the worst legendary is Suicide Squad Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is kind of useless. Uh, I don't know what she's going to be do, going to do apart from be in the Suicide Squad team. Um, this passive, I think it's okay. It's got plus 25% critical attack chance for teammates. Teammate Deadshot, plus 25% proud generation for teammate Harley Quinn, which is kind of weird because she is Harley Quinn. But power generation from teammate Harley Quinn, sorry. Um, then immune to critical attacks, which is pretty good. And then thir plus 30% critical attack resistance for teammates, which is pretty good too. And a minus one to the Suicide Squad team's power bar cost for special abilities, which is a great Plus 50% health from teammate Enchantress, which is also pretty good. But it senses the Suicide Squad, and the Suicide Squad isn't the very isn't a very good team. It doesn't really help her out that all her buffs go to the Suicide Squad. And then yeah, and then it's like a random stat with minus 30 percent of opponents random stat. That random stat could be either like it could be like the health, it could be their attack. But it also could just be like a like a random stat like I don't know. Lethal chance, which doesn't really do much, you know what I mean? So yeah. And I don't mean to do that. So yeah, and then there's plus five percent of the the same stat for Harley Quinn and teammates. It says that sometimes that could be okay, sometimes that could just be useless. And triggers three times per battle maximum three times per opponent, which is okay. Um, yeah, so, and then there's the Twist of Love, plus 50% attack from teammate Joker. Um, I didn't, well, there was a Suicide Squad Joker. Oh, maybe from any Joker, which is okay. And then plus 10% stun and dot resistance from opponent Joker, which not every time you're gonna get a opponent Joker, so. Um, and then 25% dot resistance for, from teammates, opponent, Joker. It's not every time you're going to have an opponent of Joker. So that one isn't really the best. So yeah, and that's basically it for Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, who I don't think is, or who I think is the worst legendary. And up next is Suicide Squad Enchantress. Enchantress. Suicide Squad Enchantress is the second worst character in the game and there's 12 legendaries so that's 11th um you've got mortal host passive one mortal host triggers at 60 percent and 25 percent of max health which is okay then 7.5 percent of mortal host duration and there's plus 25 percent damage under mortal host buff at 60 percent of max health plus 50 percent damage under mortal Ho host buff at 25% of max health. Spe successful specials auto crit when under mortal host. Then 0.5 power bars when triggered mortal host at 25% of max health for the first time. So like it's okay but like this is a legendary, you know what I mean? Like legendaries are hard to get, hard. Then outworldly, outworldly nature, 5% max health healed over time and resisting critical attack chance. Critical attack, sorry, chance. Then still 15% of opponent's current power bar. Um, yeah, it is okay too. But compared to all legendaries, these two are not the greatest. Um, anyway, up next is Martian Manhunter. Martian Man now those three who I've just said, like they could you could probably switch him around if you wanted to, so, you know. Um, anyway, this is his first passive. 10% fast attack chance, which is okay. Um, yeah. Then, plus one fast attack hit per negative effect on the opponent, which is also uh, pretty good. And then, far, five fast attacks hits max cap, so that's pretty good too, you know. Um, Plus 25% duration of debuffs applied to opponents by Martian Manhunter or his teammates, which is okay. Like, so, you know, this is pretty good. Um, 
Like, none of these characters are going to be the worst characters in the game. Like, it's just that they're all legendaries, and there's... Like, I wouldn't say legendaries are the best characters, but I wouldn't say they're the worst characters. Majority of them are, like, in the middle. So, and then, third one. 1.5% of health regenerated per second while tagged out. Now, that is a really good passive. That is a really good one. So, if you haven't tagged out for, like, 100 seconds, that's all his health gained from the bottom. If he, obviously, if he was dead, but, like, like, if he had no health, but, um... You're never gonna get that, but so it, you know, it's like literally you can have him out for a minute and you just put him back to full health majority of the time. Now, up next is Golden Armored Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Now, I didn't know where to put Golden Armored Wonder Woman because I've never really seen what to do with her, so I didn't want to put her in the bottom because I didn't, she could have been like much better than that. I didn't want to put it on the top because I didn't, I, I, I don't believe she's the top, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then passive one, Anathas power, plus 25 sack and plus the 15% plus 15% defense. So I was meant to say plus 25% attack. This is pretty good. Stacks up to three times. That's pretty nice. Now there's divine protection, plus 50% damage over time resistance. Now that's what really good. Instead of doing like just say 100, you'll be they'll be doing 50 damage over time. Half the damage. Um, plus fifty percent chance for each blocked attack to increase combo meter by three. Now that is okay. I don't. Oh, I might think maybe. oh yeah. Okay, yeah. That's that's. I, I don't know what combo meters do. So I just think it's there to look cool. So I don't know if that's good or not. I'll, I'll look it up after. Polish it off before, but you know. Anyway, um, next one. Collector of Worlds Superman. Same reason why um, he's roughly in the middle. Uh, I've actually seen people use him before, but he was never maxed out, like, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't know. And they were, like, experimenting with him when I've seen it. So, yes, I don't quite know. And then, passive one, Supremacy of Reason. He has. 10% chance to not resist the combo counter, which is um pretty good. And then there's um and once again I don't quite know what the combo thing does, so I don't have to talk about it. So um heals for 25% of the damage his teammates receive, which is pretty good. Then gains 25% bonus dam bonus damage for each time his teammates lose more than 75% of their total health. Now there's better you than me, um, passive three, which I don't think this one's really like good. Like spreads 25% of damage he receives between his teammates when he has less than 30% of health. Your teammates don't, you don't want your team taking more damage than they already are. Like, yeah, it's, I don't think it's quite good, that one. So that one is really why he um, probably, if that was different, he probably could have went up a bit more, but like that one's like a, a bad passive, like a, one would actually probably doesn't help you, but you know, it's fine, depends like how much health your team has, but like, still, I wouldn't do it, um, or use it, try to use it, um, Brainiac is the next one up, Brainiac, yeah, so, Brainiac is, um, I heard that he, like, got better, but I never heard yeah. Um, so he's got one of these four skill, eight percent cap for damage from basic tag and swipe attacks. Um, I don't know what that does. Ah, uh, I've never used Brainiac or seen him, so I don't know how that works. I'll probably learn later. Yeah. I don't know. Um. Oh, by the way, all these passives are level one, apart from Dark Side, because I've got, actually got Dark Side. So. Um. And then passive two, 10% attack, t plus 30% health, plus 10% lethal attack damage, and plus 10% like, lethal attack chance. That's his, that's that's a pretty good one, I would say. That's a pretty good one. That's that's probably what puts him here, I would say. And then plus 10% hacked hero health. 
So, um, yeah. So I'm guessing hacked heroes uh what grid I would say. Grid. Maybe cyborg, but I don't think cyborg's hacked. I think he's more built like he's just a robot. Um I don't think I don't know if grid's hacked either. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then the next one up is Arkham Knight Batman. Batman. Arkham Knight Batman is now this is where the legend I don't know if Braniac was good or collector of the world Superman is good. But I, I see them as just like okay characters, and this is where the characters are now good, good. So, first passive, plus twenty percent teams hazard and teams and hazard dot damage, which is pretty good. Plus twenty percent defense for tech and agility teammates, which is also pretty good. Plus twenty five percent health for tech and agility teammates, which is also pretty good. Now fear multi takedown. One power bar gained and then um, ten percent health regenerated. So what's this? Uh, oh yeah, this is when they when he like um, knocks out a, a different opponent. So yeah, and then this one's the free flow counter. One percent, one second stun and one counter attack per battle. Uh, yes, but so Alchemy can. Interrupt counter attack specials from meta human opponents, leaving them stunned for a few seconds, which can be pretty good. So, yes, and now the next one Justice League Superman. Superman. Every single time I verse this dude, he just destroys me in the arena. Um, but saying that, I don't have the best characters to go up against him. Like, he has so much health and defense every time I verse him. So, yeah. Like, he's. Really good. Anyway, Batman versus Superman. So if you don't know, Batman versus Superman is a movie. It's a really good one. So right, if I was you, I would recommend watching it. Somehow. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so somehow, I'd recommend watching it if you have. Um. So plus thirty percent attack per Batman teammate or opponent, which is pretty good. So if he had a Batman team, just say he was with Arkham Knight Batman, he would gain. 30% attack, or if he was versing Knight like Batman, he would gain 30% attack. Then, plus 30% health per Wonder Woman teammate or opponent. Um, this might seem random, but Wonder Woman was in the movie also, so that is why that's there. So, once again, if um, you had Golden Armor Wonder Woman, say, in his team, he'd gain 30% health, or versing Golden Armor Wonder Woman, he'd gain 30% health. Yeah. Then, the Do You Bleed. Um, Plus eight percent defense for Justice League and legendary teammates. That's pretty good, but yeah, that can work pretty well. Then there's Protector, passive three. Um, Twenty two hundred and ninety three damage, uh, and then fifty five seconds cooldown. And I'm pretty sure he just interrupts a, a ability, um, and he just slams in, interrupts it, and then yeah does a bit of damage so that's that and then number three black manta black manta. all these characters from now on i would say are top 10 characters so yeah and then so number passive one open runes four seconds of of heal block on opponent i think i don't know what that means <laughs> i don't know how that works i've never seen black manta in use well i have but like I just know he's insanely good because he does insane damage and I've watched him but I don't know how this works. Um, plus 50% of Black Manta's attack stat is applied as dot for 4 seconds. Once again, I don't quite know how this works. Oh yeah, it might say down below. So. Special abilities used by Black Manta or legendary allies inflict dot for a percentage of Black Manta's attack and tempor temporarily blocking block healing. Oh, okay. So, he, when they block, they actually heal, which is really good. And then there's revenge mission, plus four, two percent damage per basic swipe or fast attack for four seconds, which is pretty good. But I don't know how it um, starts. So, yeah. <laughs> and then there's the black manta suit, plus fifty percent health and plus three percent damage reduction from blocking for three seconds. That is really good. Um, that's just insanely 
good luck. Yeah. Yeah, that's that 50% health, that's really good. I basically like halve your health. So just say you have 40,000 health, halve it, but you keep the 40,000, so you got 20,000. Now you've got 60,000 health. I didn't put that 20,000, 40,000. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyway, number two Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd. Now, Batman Gorilla Ninja Grodd. Gorilla Grodd is obviously part of the Batman Ninja team, which is, I would say, one of the like, top three, top four best teams um, in this game. So, yeah, or some would say top five. Um, anyway, you know, um, passive one, crippling blow, plus 200% damage for bonus on every fifth successful basic or swap attack. So, just say you do a, like 100 damage, after you've done five hits, instead of doing 100, I think you do uh, 300. Let's hope I got that right. <laughs> um, now, minus 30% damage in defense for nine seconds. I'm guessing this is for every fifth attack. So, minus 30% defense damage in defense for nine seconds. And that would, I would hope that goes for the other team. Not that means you really good, because otherwise it's not actually good. Person. I mean, I'm pretty sure that goes for the other team. If it doesn't, I don't know why I have that. But, you know, that's what I have here. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes for the other team. So, yeah. <laughs> um, dramatic reversal. Plus 10% 10, 10 lethal attack chance for 9 seconds, which is okay. Um, and 5% of damage from basic attack swipes and tag attack. Tag attack heal for 9 seconds, which is also okay. And then there's Master Plan. Uh, 0 0.1 power bars going. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, I don't know how that really helps. 0 0.1 is one tenth of power bar, but you know. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, then, last one is Raven. Oh, just so you know, I got Cheetah the other day. Yeah. So helpful. Raven. Um, <laughs> Now, now this one is just insane. Raven is second or first best character. I have her at second, but that's before I seen her doing insane amount of damage um, when I did my top ten. So I don't know if I have her at first or second still. So I'm just gonna keep her at second, um, just because I have. And <laughs> yeah, but she's best legendary in the game. 15 seconds of darkness on successful special. So any of these abilities, the uh, Twilight and Dark Half or the other one, um, you get darkness on it, which is really good. And then, so, um, so all incoming attacks targeting this hero do 70% more damage. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Stacks up to five. So. Any, whoever you put the darkness on, it will do 70% more damage and it can stack up to five. And this is only level one. I'm pretty sure at three star you got it at 90% um, because I know someone who has a Raven three star, obviously, and that's the lowest you can get her. And this passive is level three and it's, and I, and I, I was allowed to use her for a bit and she was insane. Um, plus 20% attack per dark, darkness stack upon Deadly Sin activated. So yeah, that's also a really good one. And then there's Demonic Rage. Demonic Rage triggers at 20% of max health. And then 50% of attacks that inflicted has adds damage, which is really good. And 15% max health healed, which is also really good. So basically, you just gain a bunch of health again. So you get below it, then you gain health again. So. And then this one is enhances team power generation buff by 50%, which is really good, really good. So if you use a Dr. Fate, I'm pretty sure that means he would have three power bars gone off him. Oh no, not gone off him. Yeah, gone off them. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. And